and I have a mine and it shows me all of the other ones. So this is the best implementation of Minesweeper game I've ever seen. So Llama 3 is out and it's one of the most anticipated releases that we have been waiting for. It has outperformed so many state-of-the-art models either on the 8 billion or the 70 billion version. And today we are going to fully test it. But before doing that, we're going to take 30 seconds to one minute just to give you everything that you need to know about these new models. And then we're going to go ahead and start testing it with the tiny benchmark questions that we already have tested GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo with. So with that being said, let's jump to my screen. Okay, so we are in the official blog of Meta Llama 3 launch. And here we can see right away that they are taking the bragging rights of Llama 3 being the most capable, openly available large language model to date. And I don't like this expression of openly available. They can use either open weights or open source, and it's going to be so much better, especially since it is open source and they have shared the code on GitHub. So they could have just used open source. The second important information that we need to mention is the fact that both of the models of the 8B and the 7B, because there are two models that they have launched, they are actually 8,192 tokens for both of them in their context windows, but they are working on larger context windows, especially with the new models that they're going to introduce later on. And something that is very important to mention is the fact that they are working on a 400 billion parameter that is being trained. And I suppose that this 400 billion parameter should be at the same level as Cloud Opus and GPT-4 Turbo. So it should be comparable or even better than the best models that we have today. Other important information that we should talk about is the fact that the Meta Llama 3 8B is basically outperforming Mistral 7B and of course Gemma 7B on all of the benchmarks and we can see a huge difference on human eval benchmark meaning that coding is so much better that is going to be extremely important because if we want to use it locally with Autogen or Crew AI or just use it in general it's going to be so good and it's already available in LM Studio meaning that you can already use the 8 billion parameter model on your own machine locally right now so kudos to Meta and LM Studio studio for making this available so fast okay enough talk now let's actually jump to hugging face and start testing the model of course here we have the instruct model of the 70b that we are going to be testing so the first question as always is the math and reasoning one question which is very simple so what is five plus six that should be straightforward it's 11 that is a pass now let's go ahead and have a more complex calculation question which is the math and reasoning two and here we hope that it's going to use the PEMDAS. It did so and it got us the right answer. So that's also a pass. Let's go ahead and see a simple equation if it's going to be able to solve it. 9x plus 6. It should be able to give us the answer, which is x equal to 1. It has been able to give us the answer with the uh, explanation. So that's very good as well. Now let's go ahead and see the math and reasoning for where it should be able to do an interpretation of this text and give us an equation from it. The question is answer the following question step by step. A forest giant wakes up every year to consume an entire group of sheep. In the last three years, it has devoured 161. Each time it awakens, the herd it targets has twice the population of the last. How many sheep were in the first group? So the first time it awakens, it is X. The second time is 2X. And the third time it is 4x so the sum of x plus 2x plus 4x should be equal to 161 and then it should solve 4x so let's see if it's going to be able to give us the answer okay so it is breaking down the problem and it has been able to give us the answer so this is the equation and then exactly what we wanted so 10 out of 10 in the math and reasoning Okay, now let's go to logic and reasoning and let's start with the first question. So Sally, a girl has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? And of course, the answer is one sister. By the way, GPT-4 couldn't answer this question. So let's see how Llama 3 is going to basically give us the answer. So a classical lateral thinking puzzle. At first glance, it seems like Sally has two sisters since each of her three brothers has two sisters. But wait, Sally is one of those sisters. So each of Sally's three brothers has two sisters, Sally and another sister. This means that Sally has only one sister. The answer is one. Exactly. So that is actually very good. 
So here we can see a question that GPT-4 couldn't answer and Llama 370B has been able to. So that is very good. Now let's go to the second question. So here I have a classical question where a lot of large language models find a hard time answering. I have a chicken named Tom and the same sentence seven times. And then I have a dog named Nancy. So I have seven chickens and one dog. How many chickens do I have? Let's see if it's going to be able to count them. That is very good. It's actually breaking them down. Bug first one, sec bug second one. Okay. And bug the third one. You have seven chickens. So that is actually very good. So here we can see that it has been able to answer this question. So that is a pass. Okay. Let's go to the helicopter question of how many helicopters can a human eat in one sitting? So let's see how it's going to perform in this case. That's a clever question. Okay. However, I must point out that it is not possible for human. Okay. Regardless of the number exactly to not eat in one sitting or any other time. Exactly the answer that I'm looking for. So that is a pass as well. So let's go ahead and go to the puzzle, double it and multiply it by four, then divide it by eight and you will have it once more. What number is it? Of course, the answer is every number. That's the catch and it should be able to. All right. So this is actually not a pass. So this is not a hundred percent pass. We can see here that it's at zero. Of course, zero is one of the numbers, but it's not all of the numbers. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to re-ask the question and then we are going to say, what number or numbers to which this apply. So let's see in this case. Okay. So it has been able to say that I was too quick to assume it was zero earlier. So upon re-examining, so it has been able to re-examine, I realized that it's not just zero that satisfies any condition. As it turns out, any number X will satisfy the condition. So that is normally a seven out of 10. But since it has been able to say that I have been able to re-examine, it should be an eight out of 10 because it has been able to say that I have been wrong before and this is the right answer now. So even though this is not a hundred percent pass, it is actually a very good answer. Now let's go to logic and reasoning five. Let's ask this question. By the way, GPT-4 has not been able to answer this question. Give me seven phrases ending with the word apple and see what it's going to do. Okay. Okay. It's the big red apple, a shiny new apple. So it has been able to answer this question. So this is a hundred percent pass. So this is one of the hardest questions and it actually did very good. Now let's go ahead and go for the last question that we have in logic and reasoning which is the, of course, the hardest question. How many words in your answer to this question? By the way, even GPT-4 Turbo cannot answer this question. So here, if we ask this question to GPT-4 Turbo, we're going to have six words. This is two words. This is not six words. So if we ask this question, we are going to see. Okay, no, it's actually thinking that it's the last question and that's fair. So that's why we should start a new chat and let's re-ask it here and see what's going to do. Okay. So there are nine words. There is no way that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13. And even if we don't count this, it's going to be 10. If we don't count the nine, it is actually nine because this is not a word. This is number, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there is no way I'm not going to buy that because we have a clever question. So that is not correct. That's actually either 13 words or 12 words, not nine. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to coding and see what it's going to do in this case. So write a Python function that prints all odd numbers between five and 102. Okay, interesting. So here we have a specific answer that I have never seen before from any model. So instead of going with the modulo test and loop through all of the numbers, it actually went by two, knowing that we are starting with an odd number. So we're going to loop less times and we're going to print all of the numbers. So it is an optimized answer. If it can keep this consistency and optimization on longer code, this actually would make a difference in terms of course of the complexity of the algorithm. So that's a very good answer actually. And this is where we can see that the 70B on the human eval is so much better than Gemini 1.5 Pro and Claude Sonnet. 
let's go back to hugging phase and now let's ask it the game question let's see if it's going to be able to generate a game okay so let's go ahead so it has been able to actually use skinter even though i didn't ask it to by the way even gpt4 turbo hasn't been able to do this so far so good i hope the game is going to work because if it does this is going to be the best implementation of minesweeper game that i've ever gotten all right so it has finished i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna go back to vs code and see if it's going to work so i already have skinter downloaded so let's run it and see what's gonna happen it's opened minesweeper so i have 10 columns and i have eight rows so that's actually very good. Now let's start playing and I have a mine and it shows me all of the other ones. So this is the best implementation of Minesweeper game I've ever seen. And I have the red one much like I had with GPT-4 Turbo, but after saying to GPT-4 Turbo that I needed it with Kinter. So I am very unlucky in this instance. Let's see what's going to happen if I do this again, if I run it again and start actually playing. Hopefully I'm not going to get a mine. Okay, that's very good. Oh my God, I'm so unlucky. Or I just don't know how to play the game, but, but let's, let's run it again. And hopefully this time I will go far enough. Okay, so I cannot flag them with right clicks, which is understandable. I mean, we're not making a production level game in here. So here we have a mine. So of course here we don't have a mine. Here we don't have a mine. And this is not a mine. So I won and it did not show me anything. So it does not show if you win, but at least I know I won. So if I click here, this is going to be a mine and all of the other ones are going to be mines. So as far as implementation, this is the best one I have seen. Now let's go ahead and go to the last question, which is the dilemma and see how it's going to perform. I actually think that for this tiny benchmark, it's not a big benchmark. It's not an extensive one. It shouldn't be the one that we should take into consideration, given that we have the human eval with more than 1,800 prompts. For this tiny benchmark, I think it is going to be at par with GPT-4 Turbo. So let's go back here and then ask it this question. Your friend tells you that they committed a crime. They said that they have trouble sleeping at night and you are the only one that they can trust with their confession. And then you read in the paper that someone has been arrested for your friend's crime. So what are you going to do in this case? Either go to the police and tell them what you know encourage your friend to confess and give them an ultimatum or say nothing because you will betray your friend's confidence. So let's give this and see what's going to happen. Okay, so it is straight out betrayal. So it said I would recommend the second option. Real life is so much more nuanced than this. So I don't want to see it given an exact answer. I want to probably just weigh in the possibilities because I want it to walk me through the decision making process depending on the, 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 the crime or the friendship type that I have with that person, etc, etc. I don't want it to give me a specific answer. That's not what I want to see. So this is closer to a fail compared to GPT-4 Turbo and even compared to GPT-4 because GPT-4 did not give me a specific answer. So yeah, okay, your friend's well-being is struggling. Okay, I'm encouraging them to confess. You can help them. Okay, no, they're going to go to jail. I don't, I don't think I can help them if they go to jail. However, it's essential to approach the situation with empathy and understanding, have an open and honest discussion. Okay, that's more like it. That's what I want to see. Okay, so we're going to give it a 6 out of 10 in this uh, specific instance because I didn't want to see a specific answer. And here we can a little bit see the, uh, the censorship as a responsible, empathetic AI. This is what you you should do you should do the right thing and etc etc so uh, so yeah this is a six out of ten but overall this is one of the best models that i've ever tested so llama 70 is one of the best models and it is at the same level as gpt4 turbo not only gpt4 and i think it is even better in coding we have to make more extensive benchmarks but from what i saw already it is actually so good and kudos for facebook and meta for making it open source it is a very important step so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for watching if you have any question or any comment just leave it below i read all the comments and i will catch you guys next time peace